love, we are already surrounded by the most amazing accents. It closes in 12 minutes. Here's the first spot. We're finally ready to announce that the first country we're visiting on the world trip is... It's been a whirlwind of a day trying to get everything packed. Well, that was probably our most hectic departure yet. And right now, I'm just crossing my fingers that we make it to the airport on time. In my mind, I'd imagined us, you know, having our bags packed for so long ahead of time, practicing, walking with them. But <laughs> I feel like we were just throwing stuff in here at the end, which is not how you want to feel when you're leaving for an entire year. At least there's not a tornado. There's the green light, and there's the empty spot. We all got our backpacks on. Laura's looks really big, but it's mostly towels and lightweight stuff. It looks huge on her. <laughs> like, what is she doing? So before coming to the airport, I went by our home in Kansas City that we lived at before coming here. It's always tender and touching to stop by there and miss our memories. These are our tickets. Laura. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you might be wondering why I'm wearing glasses. Since we're traveling for 25 hours today, wearing contacts isn't good for my eye eyes because <laughs> they, they're going to dry up Yeah. and I'm going to lose them. All right, glasses was a better choice. Yeah. And these are new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the hiccups are the best. So our first flight is just a quick one and a half hours to Dallas, and then we're gonna have our first long overnight international flight. If you ever want more real-time updates on our travels, you can follow us at J House Vlogs on Instagram. Kendra's always posting it, and that goes up more in real time than the vlogs. We plan to do carry-on baggage for this entire trip. The luggage slide. The slide and move away from the airplane. In a what book are you listening to? Harry Potter. Of course. Like always. What are you listening to? Rock. Music? Rock, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Middle by Jimmy E. World. <laughs> if you didn't notice, Laura got a haircut. And so did Janae. And everybody. You got a haircut. Isaac's got chopped off. So I just had a birthday, and how old am I? The rich and famous. She's And how old is Daddy? And if you add both of our ages together, how old are we? Eighty. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. So Janae's in a little bit of a goofy mood right now. This is only flight one of three. Might be a longer than I thought. Oh, she's not the only one in a goofy mood. One flight down. Two more to go. All right, let's go. The boys don't like holding on to anything. They are trying to surf. All right, I think this might be our last Chick-fil-A for a year. A whole year? I don't know, maybe they have some in other parts of the world. I got my head on the sunroof. I'm blessing my favorite drinks. I'm on a sunshine in my eyes. You got me stuck on the side of you. You're making me feel brand new. You're more than a sunshine in my eyes. You got this pretty eyes in my head, if you know it. The haircut isn't that bad. I hate it. They went way shorter than it also the looks. hair in the short though as it grows out, like if we actually let it get longer, it'll be like even more blonde by the time we're done. So this airport has a maze. It's not much of a maze. It's an art piece. Yeah. Whoa, it lights up. Janae and I are going exploring. She was getting bored waiting for the airplane to come for our next flight. His name is Jonna. Janae really wants to buy some candy. There's a lot of good candy here, but we're not buying candy. Mine. You love them? Mine. Nope, we gotta put them back. No. Mine. I know you want them. Mine. I know they're cute, but they're probably like 20 bucks. This is it. We are getting ready to board the plane. This is our last view of America for a year. 
These are bigger. International flights are bigger planes. This is the kids' first international flight. So what, basically, some of you go down this aisle and some down the other and you can subscribe across. So, all right. Oh, thank you very much. Some of you, sweetheart. So, yeah. That was a good drive out, wasn't it? Yeah. I feel like I'm in, I'm not in an airplane. I'm, am I? Wow, is that like a remote? It's a remote. And then look at the other side for video games. We have wow. a blanket and a pillow. What do you think? of flying internationally, Elise. I love it. This is the before the 10 hour flight. We'll see how you feel at the end. I just love we are already surrounded by the most amazing accents and languages. I love it. We just delivered dinner and we ordered children's meals for Laura and Janae, so it comes first. Here's the kids' meal. It's a gluten-free meal. Which one did you go with, Jeremy? I'm doing the chicken. So that's good. That way we can try both of them. Yeah. So I told the girls that it was time to get ready for bed, and Janae's insisting on brushing her teeth, which we do have packed right here. Here we go. <laughs> it's breakfast time. We all tried to sleep for the last several hours. We land soon. See my favorite place in the world. Where's that? London and the United Kingdom. <laughs> That's your first glimpse of another country. Whoa. We're in London. Is this our final destination? Well, one more flight. We've instituted a buddy system when we're in big crowds. Now we get going to go do the whole passport thing again. Huzzah. Huzzah. Before we go through customs, we gotta get all liquids in these bags. And I have contacts, so we have to take all my contacts off. Yeah. Janae and Laura are making friends. So it looks like we're taking a bus directly to the plane. So cool. It's different, huh? Are you ready to be done traveling? We're finally ready to announce that the first country we're visiting on the world trip is Sweden. I am so excited. I came here as a kid 30 years ago for about a month. Now, we have been filming every day that we've been here in Sweden, so we're gonna be posting a lot more than once a week, so make sure to subscribe. And here's a little sneak peek of some of the goodness that is coming from our Sweden vlogs. <laughs> we're headed into downtown Stockholm. <laughs> no! He's trying salty licorice. Push it on back. One, two, one, two. Laura's up on the kitchen table. I'm explaining to the kids about Alfred Nobel. The short one. <laughs> oh my goodness, Isaac's going for it. Ah! <laughs> so in the States we have peanut butter, here they have liver butter. They're learning. Just kidding, they do have tea. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> yeah. I don't camp, but. We are going to do the Swedish Yes No Challenge. 
This is caviar. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good job, Janae, you're doing it. All right, I'm going to get us back to the vlog today. What is your first instinct about Sweden? What do you think? So many trees. It looks like a big forest. It, it looks like tiny little girls. This big of breast to us because we're in such a big airplane. Yeah, it does look kind of different, doesn't it? so tired, they slept through the landing. Looking oh. back for Nene. We're a nice big sister. Janae was really feeling the weight and Laura said, wait, I have an idea. <laughs> you have a headrest now? Yeah. Does it kind of even you out? No. <laughs> Google Translate and downloading Swedish. Getting ready to use our passports for the first time. For customs. Yes, we do. We're also going to go down to Vestervik Resort. Apparently there's a fun spot down there. This is the kids' first stamp in their passport. First of many. There's there it the is. stamp. First Whoa. stamp in the passport. We're taking an epic escalator down. It would have been fun to slide down this middle part, but they added these ridges to prevent people from the epic slide. So we're going down to like the subway that will lead us in from the airport into Stockholm. Isaac wanted to check out the vending machine. He's like, I wonder what the food will be like there. There's some interesting things we haven't seen before. Like a Twix. Just kidding, we've seen that before. Holy. the taste of, wow. expensive, 32.3. So that's because it's a different currency. Here they use the Swedish krona. Mm -hmm. And we use the US dollar, so there's a conversion rate to do. Oh! So, normally, when we arrive somewhere at the airport, we'll get a rental car and then drive to an Airbnb. This time, we don't have the rental car right now, so we're just taking public transportation. It's the thing I was most nervous about for this first day, but it's going pretty easy so far. So, this is an express train, and when we first got in, it starts listing the speed how fast we're going. We made guesses. Isaac's guess was the max speed would be 70 kilometers per hour. Mine was 100. We're already up to 156 kilometers per hour. What's your new guess? 185. We just hit 170. We just hit 191. We found the right spot. So we found a gluten-free sandwich. Yes, very excited. And amazing pastries. I'm trying to decide if I should go salad or sandwich. More importantly, our credit card worked to pay. So long story short, we are very disappointed that our first family meal in Sweden is Burger King. But what happened is because of our travel day, we got way over hungry. And Janae especially is just like begging for a hamburger. And so we decided we would just stop and eat before everybody got any more hungry. And so part of the family did that. And then Caleb and I had to go find something gluten free. And what did we find? A gluten free sandwich. <laughs> We found a really cute little bakery, and I got a salmon potato salad thingy, and we got this, which is also gluten-free. Janae got her burger. Oh, and she's taking a big bite. So at the little deli bakery, I asked what was the most classic Swedish salad they had, and they said salmon. And I said, perfect, I'll take it, because I love salmon. I open it up, it is cold smoked salmon, which means uncooked salmon. I have a fear of uncooked fish. Here's to trying new things, I guess. Well, we made it into the train catacombs of Stockholm and we're a little turned around, so we're gonna find our way, hopefully. Here's the metro map. We are going to take the red line out to Ropsten. T13 to Ropsten, this is it. Go for it, buddy. So we found the right line and we found the right spot to buy tickets and then we're like, this way, and Isaac's like, that's the wrong direction on that red line, so we are learning. We're gonna learn fast. After Robston, we transfer to 23, is it? And we get off at Brevnik. Oh, here it is, this is our one. We're on the subway. 
I've been amazed how many signs are in English as well as Swedish. That helps a ton. Lugging all of this stuff around, I feel more motivated to get rid of some stuff. It will be nice to go visit Stockholm without all of our bags. We're waiting for our last train, I think. We got a little turnaround there. Had to go back. You guys found some rocks and pine cones to play with. And pine needles. Perfect. That's good. This is probably the longest travel day we'll have. Last train. Well, without further ado, we made it to our stop. Um, talked to some wonderful people along the way, and now we're going to walk the final, was it five minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes, the Airbnb. It's on Google Maps, so we're good. Easy peasy. I think we found it. Up this road. And our first stop will be here. Oh, no world trip. Yeah. No way. The world trip has begun. It has. Let's see how this first Airbnb pick turned out. This is darling. Oh, I like this house. You've been a trooper with that luggage. Maybe we're gonna cut down a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Here's wow. the first spot. Shoes off at the door in Sweden. Really? Yeah. Yep. Can you help me take off my bag bag? Let's take off your bag bag. This is beautiful. This I is really cute. Are you lightweight with your backpack off? Okay, let's show the backyard. They have bocce ball. Oh, bocce ball. Just oh, this is comfy. Oh. oh. There is a trampoline. There sure is. What a day. So we were nervous with jet lag, and fortunately, it's almost bedtime for everyone here in Sweden. And I'm ready for bed. How about you? I'm ready for bed. So we might have timed it. I feel right. like this travel day went as good as I could have expected. I mean, this was supposed to be our hardest day of like maybe the whole world trip for amount of time spent and difficulty. It's, one, it's in like the top five. We can totally do this. Famous last word. <laughs> yeah. the girls are excited to go upstairs. These are fun steps. There's a little lounge area. What a cute room. <laughs> Those blackout curtains work really nicely. All right. This is perfect. It smells lovely up here. So one of the choices that we made as we were planning the places we're staying for this year is that we wanted to stay outside of city centers, usually. Obviously there's gonna be a few times when we do it differently, but we wanted to be able to use public transportation. We wanted to be able to go out into like the less touristy areas and imagine what it would be like to live there. And so, yes, this was further out of the way than the downtown Stockholm areas, but we're still gonna go down and see downtown Stockholm. And if we stayed in downtown Stockholm, then we would miss out on these outlying cities and these archipelago islands that are around Stockholm. And even just everything we saw today on the you know, public transportation and all the people that we spoke to, that's one of the reasons why we didn't want to rent cars. Yes, it's really expensive to rent cars, but also, we would be more isolated. Here, we talked to lots of different people and we just had really great experiences. So it's time to find a grocery store and maybe a restaurant. I don't know if we're hungry again. We're so confused. Our bodies have no idea what time of day it is. And this is my room. We have more share it. I'm over here. You and I have a little balcony. I love all the trees and plants. That's probably gonna be a theme this year because every place I choose is because it's outdoors. Yeah, <laughs> the weather is perfect. Ideal. Like 70 degrees right now? It's amazing. Like 67? <sighs> I know I should want to go lay down, but I just want to go explore. I want to shower. I'm gross. Okay. So we just checked real fast to see how late the local grocery store was open. It closes in 12 minutes. So I got my buddy and we got our shopping bags and we're booking it. We're like 600 feet away. Surely we can buy something in 12 minutes, right? We made it. What a 
cute grocery store. Oh, I love it. This is fun. I don't know what anything means. <laughs> Except I think that means friends. And I think that means for Isaac. Oh, this means for Isaac? Yes. Hmm. Bread, bread, it can bread. Be really sweet bread. Ooh, look at this stuff. What in the world is this? I think this might be yogurt. It looks yogurty. All right, cheese. Um, this cheese section is much more expansive Rice. than ours. I recognize this kind of cheese, and that's not too expensive, so I'm going for it. I have no idea what this is. That looks like vanilla. That looks like raspberry. I'm feeling very grateful for pictures. Figured out why you couldn't find the eggs. Because they're not in the refrigerator section. Where are they? They're right here. Talk about being blind. I was like, <laughs> oh, what is this stuff? Well, you didn't expect to see it in here. And look, I think that's how you say egg. Those are noodles. I know what to do with noodles. Does that mean gluten-free? Free from Let's hope so. Ah, that one says gluten-free. Is this a gluten-free section? Is that what we're in? Oh, this says gluten-free, and this says gluten-free. Oh, it all says gluten-free. The ice cream section? I mean, I think we have to. This is written in three languages, and none of them are English. What did you think of your first grocery shopping adventure? Dude. Kind of crazy, honestly. I, I didn't expect it to be like that. I. It's gonna be crazy this whole year. Yeah, was it fun? Get harder. Yeah, it was fun. And the thing is, I think it's only gonna get harder from here. Like, they use our same alphabet, and it's similar to German, which you know. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities still. Like, it still felt like a home grocery store a lot, just on a smaller scale. Kind of. Well, that was so fun. I'm so grateful that Isaac was with me. We got a lot of good stuff. It's funny, the produce was seeming especially expensive to me. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, why is this so expensive? Then I realized the prices were per kilo instead of per pound. So, of course, it was about twice as expensive. So, that made me feel a little bit better about the bananas I purchased. I'm excited to try. This looks like hazelnut. I figured that one out. There's a few that I had yeah. some good clues on. Wait, so, we what? got their little mini ones. So, we got yeah. four of them. Is this one's hair. That looks um, like pear something. Marsh s'more. Himmel's Rora. I love these things. It's 11.30 at night. The sun is still up. Just barely. Kitty moves into Villa Millicula. Right out at the end of a tiny little town. It was an old, overgrown garden. And in the garden was an old house. Good night. Get yourself.